What's up, YouTube? Midwest Suvia here back again. Got a couple items today. You can see them on top of the, the box on the Jamestown service cart. I know it looks like a mess. Um, it's been rough. I've been really busy with work and everything. So uh, trying to get the other box, everything's kind of in disarray. Trying to get that all figured out. And uh, it's been blade, it's been cold, man. It's been really, really cold here in the Midwest. I'm in Indiana, and I gotta say that probably uh, it's been in the teens, if not the single digits. So it's been super, super cold out in the shop, or what I refer to as my shop, otherwise known as my garage. And um, yeah, so I haven't been doing a whole lot, but I thought I would show you guys what I picked up today. I got a couple items that were finally that finally came in from Mac Tools. I don't know if you guys have recently had your dealers um, warranty out any things for you, but I had my dealer warranty out some uh, my Mac dealer warranty out a couple things, and man, it took forever to get them back. Um, I got a great Mac dealer. It's got nothing to do with him, but it was things that he didn't have on the truck, and it just took Mac so long to get them back and uh, to get them to him and. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's just been rough. So I don't know if anybody's experienced any issues with Mac and as far as delays, but uh, certainly on my end, it, it's been crazy. So, but I thought I'd share a couple of things with you guys uh, that I got uh, here recently uh, from Mac and as well as some Snap-on. So let's get into it. So um, I think I shared with some of the, the Mac stuff that I've got. Uh, I've been buying a little bit more from, from my dealer um, John, he's been hooking it up really well. And uh, anytime I warranty something out on a truck, uh, I like to buy something from him at the same time. It's kind of like my thing with him. Uh, he takes time out of his day to meet up with me. And uh, since I don't have a formal shop, so he, you know, will we'll text and we'll say, hey, here's where I'm going to be on this day. And uh, I meet him and he's there and he's really good to deal with. Uh, I know a lot of people have talked about, you know, the, the benefits of having a dealer and I got to admit, yeah, there, there is, man. There really, really is. I mean, you can buy stuff off line. You can buy it, uh, pawn shops or off somebody, but nothing takes the place of having a dealer that can help you out and, uh, really, you know, take care of you when things are, are damaged or broken, or you need to do an upgrade or a trade out. Um, it's really, really nice to have those guys on your side. So what I picked up here, um, are these, uh, the, the, the pinch, the hose pinch off pliers, uh, this is a three-piece set here, and then you buy this set, you get this set free, or vice versa. Can't recall what it was, but I believe it was like around forty-five or forty-six bucks. I know that everybody and their mother makes these. I think I actually have a pair from Matco, um, but I like this deal. Like I said, it was something that I could use. I didn't have these ninety-degree ones here, so um, that's why I, I wanted them because I didn't have this style. I had that style. Um, or I already own that style rather. I think I do. I, I don't know. I think I do. Um, I don't use them very often, but these here I thought would be really, really cool. And I could have used these here recently when I was doing, um, the fuel pump replacement on my, um, my 2003 expedition, trying to pinch off some of those fuel line hoses would have been nice. Um, so yeah, I got this set really, really nice. Um, both of them. Hope to get a chance to really use them uh, when the weather breaks. Uh, I know I got a couple little jobs that I could take use of those, so uh, that'd be nice to do. I picked up this a while back. I just found it. Um, it's a low, pro low profile screwdriver rail set by Ernst USA Made. I don't know how well I'm going to use them. You see there, they're showing some snap on um, screwdrivers. I need some other way to organize my snap on screwdrivers. Uh, especially in a new box. It holds 14. I probably got, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So I got 11 here, uh, plus a couple extras around the shop. So I probably could fill out this whole rail. But you can see here that that has a fairly large um, surface area that that consumes, so a large footprint. So I don't know. I mean, I, I'm glad I found it, but more than likely this will end up probably – I'll give this away or something like that. I don't know if I'm I'm going to take use to it. So, because this this seems to work really well for my layout. I mean, I'm I'm fine with that. Granted, all of this stuff is going to the other box, so we'll see how things work out. But I don't mind doing this interlocking 
profile or layout here. Um, it seems to work for what I need. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, you guys already saw the Olsa tools. Um, uh, this is the torque screwdriver. Uh, so I got this also sent me this here to review and play with. I was playing with it last night, just kind of just screwing around with it, but I've got some projects where we're going to actually put that to use and see how well it, it works out. Uh, there's a lot of similarities of this particular one relative to a couple other brands that are more prevalent out there. So I'm going to share that with you, share my thoughts, uh, and go from there. I mean, really can't say these, these, are t these types of tools are any type of torque wrench or whatever, or in this case, a torque screwdriver. You know, you're paying for quality. You're looking for um, the the uh, accuracy. You're looking for the number of uses relative before you need to get it recalibrated. Things of that nature. How hold, how long does it hold its calibration, uh, as well as general quality of it and feel for it. But you're looking for that repeatability um, in your tool, and that's so we're going to be looking at that um, and checking that out. Uh, some of the other things I got, uh, you guys already saw the CT761, it came in, so that's already been added to the box. I mean, that's old news. Uh, some of the new things on the rail, on my master rail here is what I like to uh, affectionately call it. Got to picked up the, the max stuff, so a couple max sockets were warrantied out. This is a 13 millimeter, uh, six point, um, swivel socket. Uh, this one here is a 13 16 mil six, 13 16 um, um, mid length, I guess. Apparently, I had a shorter one, but when my my Matt, go, Matt guy warranted it out, he said this is actually the proper length that they have now. So okay, whatever. I thought there were some others in here um, that I'm not quite recalling. There was like a third socket, but I don't see it. To recall what it was but i got a couple sockets warrantied out i got one more that i'm waiting on which is a 13 millimeter or 19 millimeter swivel socket uh in chrome that i need to get in uh, really could use that guy so once again this this also tools socket rail is is really really working out i like it um, i've been using it um pretty much on a lot of jobs it almost kind of made me feel bad in a way because everything that's on here is all the sockets range from metric to SAE. And I was able to do another job here recently uh, on my nephew's um, Nissan Altima. And all I used, no kidding guys, when it came to sockets came off this rail. And uh, I was shocked. I was like, wow, that's pretty amazing because it just shows that you don't need to have a million sockets in order to get things done. So, you know, it is what it is, right? But um, yeah, this, this worked out really, really nicely. So um nothing fell off although i do have things that are loosely set up set up on here it held everything really really nicely so i mean also tools you guys did a good job on this one so um shout out to you guys what else here oh i got uh, a couple of ratchets that finally came in finally came in and uh this particular one here i've been waiting for this one for a while um i had the head on the old one that it was completely shot out and when I put the new gears in there, it was just sloppy as, as you can imagine. And so um, I, I talked to my Snap-on guy. Uh, he talked to another dealer, and that dealer looked at it and said, yeah, we need to send it in. So they sent it in for me, uh, and this is what I got back today. Uh, the funny thing is when this when, they must have dug deep to find this because not only did it take a month to get it, but it was filled with, like, grit and grime and dirt around here like it had been in the bottom of the barrel um as for replacement tools but i cleaned it up a little bit with a um, microfiber towel and it looks really good um i wish it had been blue i mean the one that i warranted out had a black handle so it's like whatever red is cool but for some reason i wish this had been blue um, i'm not going to swap out the handles i, I could but i'm not going to do that um, it, it'll just be what it is but i don't know for me my hands are fairly large so this this, you know, I got other ratchets, obviously, that could take the place of this one. Um, but it, it's nice to have a little bit of variety. You know, it's nothing wrong with having, maybe not quite having this many ratchets. And, you know, this this is more or less for entertainment purposes for my channel to kind of show you guys what you could what you could find out there. Not that it's, it, there's no ambiguity here that these are not all going to get used. I'll probably die before all of these ever get used, right? My sons will be working with these and my daughters will be using these well after I'm dead, gone and, and turned to dust. So 
that's just the reality of things. But it's more or less content to kind of show you guys what's out there, what you can find, how you can rebuild them, how you can uh, repurpose them or not really repurpose, but restore them to working condition. So that's kind of been like the whole, you know, mantra, if you will. But um, that being said, uh, I got that one here. So that's the newest one to the box. Uh, oh, not the newest one, but one of the newest ones. I also got this FK936. This this is the only one. Only thing I needed with this guy was a new head. So they, the Snap One guy replaced that. So now I got a new head on it. But um, this was one that I did not have the type or style. I have some of the fixed head ones that are the same type of profile, but um, now I have the the swivel head um, ratchet one as well. And then. I'm probably going to let it go but because uh, I don't necessarily need it. Uh, but I had uh, a quarter-inch drive one. Uh, they, it was actually a TM936 or a TM831, one of the two, that had to be re replaced. I had This one was ordered a long time ago, um, and Snap-on misplaced my order or something to that effect. But anyway, they sent me this one. They rushed this one here to me. So I got this one here today as well, uh, just a regular quarter-inch drive uh, flex head. But... Like I said, I'll probably end up letting that one go because I've, I've got more than enough quarter. I got more quarter than I like to admit. Um, you guys saw the other ones. Here's the one that, that was replaced, the FHNF100. It was replaced because it had the crack that extended across the gear. Uh, it, it broke basically here and there. So whoever owned it prior to me buying it from the Snap-on guy, it was in a um, junk bin or whatever. Um, they They incorrectly used this ratchet they put way more torque on it for what it was designed to handle uh, but uh he took care of me and got that replaced so all is well in that that area so um other than that guys pretty much it um you know we're i'm not i've not bought any any type of new ratchets here i don't anticipate buying any ratchets um, i've got literally everything that i could use for as far as a ratchet goes so I don't need anything whatsoever. I'm not going to be buying anything. I'm not looking for anything. So, you know, we're just going to see how and my heater's acting weird right now. So we're just going to see how things work out with what I got uh, and kind of go take it from there. One of the other things I did get um, was I got I got another wrench here. This is the uh, 11 sixteenths. If you guys recall, I bought all this stuff off of eBay here. Um, just to be quite honest with you guys. Um, I had this set here that came in that uh, collector's edition thing where it came with this, the truck and all that kind of stuff. So it went from like 10 to 14 and then like, what is it here? Um, 5 sixteenths up to what, 9 sixteenths or something like that? Yeah, 9 sixteenths. So we got that guy. And then um, I I wanted to do an add-on to it, so I started picking up the re remaining ones in there. Uh, so we got the five eighths, we got the eleven sixteenths, and the three quarter. Thirteen sixteenths is on its way. Um, and then on the metric side, I got it all the way up to nineteen. So so it goes from ten to nineteen. So I completed out that set, or almost complete with this side, and completely done with the the metric side. So. Just getting everything kind of set up the way I want it. I don't want to be, I'm, I'm getting to that point, guys, where I'm about done buying tools for the most part. Uh, I'm more than willing to trade some things out and kind of upgrade some things. But as far as acquiring new stuff, um, unless I have an actual need for it around the, around the garage, I'm not probably not going to be buying a whole lot more. I'm probably going to try to use more of what I got. Uh, and be more effective and more proficient. I'm learning. There's jobs and you know that involves working on cars that I don't know how to do yet. And uh, you know, I talk with several other YouTubers about how to do them. Um, you know, learning this new thing. So um, as I go along, maybe some things will grow. Maybe I'll have a need for more stuff. I'm kind of focusing a little bit more too on more of the on the um, specialty tools. So um, you know, like. Uh, like I got the uh, coolant pressure tester. That was one of the things that I needed to, to have. Um, I got a uh, coolant flush kit. I've got the, the hose connector for all that, plus the, the refill thing. That Those are not necessarily specialty, but um, things that I needed for specific jobs. Um, I'm looking at getting a proper scanner. I have a little small um, all-tail scanner, but I may upgrade that and get something more, um, more professional grade. We'll see how that kind of works out. My Maco dealer's got a pretty good deal on a, on a scanner right now, so I may end up hitting him up about that. 
Uh, my impact game, as far as my impact guns, I've got everything that I need for that. I've got the CT761s. I've got uh, the the Milwaukee setup system, or system. So I'm good on that front as well. And then obviously for hand tools, guys, you know, I've already uh, really stepped that game up big time in the last year to ensure that I had all the hand tools that I could possibly ever want and or need. So I think we're looking pretty pretty good on that. So I uh, just wanted to share that with you guys, share the updates, let you know what's going on to the channel. Um, you know, nothing major. So I uh, hope you guys like the content. I uh, hope you guys like what I'm bringing to the channel. I do get a lot of stuff I still got to sell off. I mean, we're, I mean, this whole box here is just sockets and stuff that I got to get moved on down the road. So uh, there'll be more than, you know, there's the big estate box that we're buying out. So it has all the tools in there that we have to go through. That's probably going to happen this, this, uh, Saturday. Uh, I do have videos. I do have pictures. I do have the box itself posted on Instagram. So if anybody's looking for a box, um, with, uh, additional site locker and all of that kind of stuff, it is posted on my Instagram page at Midwest underscore tool underscore review. Uh, you're going to have to come pick that joker up. It ain't no way I'm going to be shipping that freight to you. So um, if you're willing to come to Indiana, we can work out a good deal for you. You can own yourself a nice box. It is the 70th anniversary edition, uh, and it is in great condition. So, all right, guys, I'm going to call it that. We're at 16 minutes, 16 and a half minutes. So thank you guys for uh, tuning into this video. Hopefully you stay for the whole thing. Make sure you leave a comment in the bottom. I always try to get to my comments. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel to get the latest information. Click that bell. And as always, guys, click that like button if you like the video. If you don't, well, I guess you didn't. Catch you in the next one. All right, peace.